was a lot to take in. Hey, yo, good morning, little guy. What's up? Come on, calm down, bro. What's your deal? Okay, fine, come on in, Jesus. As usual, my pets are freaking rambunctious this morning. Matt, what's Gucci, fam? <laughs> No, Maverick. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, though, gang. I'm a bit tired this morning, feeling a bit slow. But there's one thing that can and will save me. Lydia! Also, Brendan. Do you got the goods? Like, do you got the the, the food? I or? always get. Oh no, the food's on. Wait, what? No! Lydia, no! Lydia, no! Lydia, no! Lydia! Do you have an ETA or something? Give me anything. It said three minutes, five minutes. Two. Oh yeah, it hurts my big day. I don't know why, bro. My face feels like swollen or puffy this morning. My dog won't shut up. What is your deal? Hello? What is your deal, Kong? Uh, uh, uh. Dude, he's got a case of the crazies lately, bro. This could be in drugs. I think there was a legit conference happening in the lobby about to come. Everybody standing behind the desk was talking about dog barking. No! It's an actual problem, guys. Like, when you go down here, it's just like an enclosed space, and the only thing you hear is the freaking Kong barking. Knowing these guys, bro, they're gonna, like, hire someone to kill Kong. <laughs> they won't even ask me. Just... That's actually horrible, but it fits the theme of today's vlog, I think. Killing puppies? No, Brendan, no. What's the theme, then? Oh, the theme of the vlog. I'm actually excited, bro. Today's a bit of a different one. I want to try stuff. I like to experiment, see what you guys like, test things out. And so, uh, I'm, I'm, I'll explain this later, but uh, let's just say it involves a cartoon. Anyways, yo, please, someone ring the doorbell in the next 10 seconds. <laughs> I just did that. I just did that. Hello. Thank you, bro. Oh, that's my big day, y'all. Yeah, bro. Magical. That was food. That was magical. <laughs> ah, yes, honey. Come back. Honey, yes. Yo, Logan, you know this. Breakfast burritos. I love them. Hi, baby. I love you. Mm -hmm. You know what's crazy is eating this breakfast burrito. Yo, can you just please? Is eating this breakfast burrito reminds me of my roommate, Evan. How is he sleeping right now? Uh-oh. Hey. I got you, his monkey. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, okay. It's just me, Evan, and the monkey. You yeah, want big cuddle fest? <laughs> yeah, yeah, one big cuddle fest. Yeah, monkey, we gotta get the f out of here, bro. I'm not wearing any underwear under here. Oh, great. We made a good decision, monkey. Okay, so as y'all know, we had a little Maverick merch drop yesterday. This was one of the items, the blue crew neck. Man, we dropped the red as well, the v-neck, and all these hats. New Maverick hats on deck. The white long sleeve Maverick. So, yo, turn around, bro. Low gang on the butt! Too sexy, bro. But yo, one thing I forgot to mention. Because I didn't have the product yesterday, because we're turning this shit out so fast. Is, uh, ladies, this is, like, kind of for you. We got a, like, I don't, I'm not a girl. I don't know. What is this? A scoop neck? Yeah, it's a scoop neck. Scoop neck? Here. Actually, you know, you're a boy. Here, Lydia. The weather's getting a little colder. Let's give the girls, like, you know, like a nice sweatshirt thing. I don't know how these work, because, again, like, penis and all, but, like, it, like, falls off the shoulder, right? Yeah, and, like, it's, like, like oh, do, like, wow. Yo, shoulder. shoulders are sexy. <laughs> Speaking of that, I remember growing up, girls were not allowed to show their shoulders in school. Do you remember that? Straps had to be like, I think it was three or two, like. Yeah, right? Yo, what the f is wrong with the schooling system? What's wrong with shoulders? Why don't they like shoulders? Anyways, Team Maverick, we do like shoulders. So yeah, scoop next, loganball.com slash shop. Link in description. Y'all know it. Okay, Maverick. Hey, Maverick! Oi! Hi, Maverick, how are you? What? Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. I guess we could just, yeah, use Brendan's camera. Hi, buddy! Yeah. Just... Oh, the house? Yeah, how yeah how we're like homeless right now. We're working on it. We're working on it. Yeah, yeah. Let me show you, Logan. Follow me. Exactly. We did come up with an interim solution. Solution. Um, I purposely saved this box because I knew this day was coming. As you can see, we kind of made it sort of like a home. There's not much in it yet. We have like we got the pillow, we got a blanket like right here. And a toaster. Yeah, Evan's been trying to toast up. Hey, Evan. Hey, Logan. It's kind of sad, but it's the best we got right now. Yeah. Working. Yeah, we, there's no electricity. It's never gonna work, Evan. There's no, there's no electricity in the box. But, like, I don't see that working. Yeah, still nothing. I don't know, guys. The point is, we're working on it. We have to find a house, but for now, I guess this will work. We're really thankful for what we have, though. It's true. For now. Like, for now, I guess we'll take this box. 
I wish this cardboard could conduct electricity because, yeah, the toaster would be nice. Honey, <laughs> this ain't gonna work. There's just not a lot of space, bro. We're freaking we're cooped up in here. It's like a house for me. We all can't have it made it for us, Evan. Let's go to sleep and not think about it. It's like noon, bro. I got stuff to do, bro. Oh, oh, speak. I got stuff to do. I have to address a problem that actually is... Hi. Oh, hello. Wow. <laughs> this is actually perfect because, okay, just follow me into the kitchen. I need help getting out. I don't know what to tell you, Evan. I'm eating a bagel. I got stuff to do, bro. Oh, yeah, I can't get out of here. So the problem has to do with these two things right here. Kong and plates. Hi, buddy. As you guys know, when it comes to plates, I like plates. Kong likes plates. Look, we bought, look, everyone in the house loves plates. But look, see, uh, once Kong has made a distance, I will take a plate and I'll <laughs> throw it. Now, Grant, look, 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 he's still over there. Now, I'll grab another plate, I'll look, I'll make eye contact, look, he's still over there, okay? And I will throw the plate. <laughs> he's still over there. Granted, he may have gotten a little closer. But the point is, my boy is safe. <laughs> okay, so I guess the best way to describe this. Um, we got an email on the store website, loganpaul.com slash shop. And it was a combination of like yelling at me, but also like really funny and creative and witty. And I resonated with it. I was like, whoa, this is like kind of funny. But at the same time, they're yelling at me because I... I Throw plates around Kong. I completely understand it. I get how it would appear as if I'm putting my dog in danger. Trust me guys, I'm not. Uh, we make it a point that Kong is a safe distance away. Whenever I pick up a plate, the house rule is Lydia goes and grabs Kong. Just because obviously I'm not, like, I, I don't want to hurt my dog with my stupid antics. However, this person uh, is not, they're not aware of that. So I decided to make a cartoon out of the email they sent me. <laughs> okay, so I've been waiting for this vlog. My dad was actually the one who noticed this email. Come back, I need you for my vlog. We were in the car one day, Brendan was there, everyone was there, we were all there, and he started reading this funny email. And it was just like the most diabolical, evil, yet funny email I've ever heard. So I was like, Dad, forward me the email, and I wanna like, well, I, there's gotta be something I can do with it. After about a solid 30 seconds of thinking, I was like, Brad, yo, we need to make that into a cartoon. When I was a kid, I, I loved cartoons, like Looney Tunes and other tunes. Yeah. So I had my friend Ben Phillips, he's a creator in the UK, help me out with this. <laughs> <laughs> By God, did we create the most amazing cartoon ever! Like I said, it involves this little guy right here, King Kong the Savage Bomb. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, enjoy. I've spent the past hour writing this email in a premeditated attempt to hopefully save Kong losing an eye or even potentially far worse. These words need to reach Logan urgently regarding this juvenile plate breaking whilst there are animals living in the apartment. It's only a matter of time until Kong is standing in the wrong place at the wrong time and has his eye pierced by ceramic shrapnel flying through the air at an unknown direction at ridiculous speeds! I've lost count of the amount of vlogs in which I've seen Kong standing dangerously close to the area of impact whenever you guys decide to turn a plate into a projectile by hurling it aimlessly at the ground or wall. Uh, uh wait, pause. Yo, at this point, I'm reading this email, I'm like, what the, this is you know, amazing! Exactly! Anyways, we got another like two and a half minutes of just incredibleness. Uh, so it continues. Kong is going to get hurt. This needs to stop now. How are you going to feel when young Doggo starts yelping in excruciating amounts of pain? Scrambling around on your kitchen floor, his little paws slipping in the blood seeping from his head. Trying to correct his clumsy attempts at staying upright, all while trying to make sense of what the hell just happened. I'll tell you right now how you're going to feel. In those mere seconds after you discover what you've done to poor puppy, you'll question how you could have been so fucking stupid by putting innocent family members in harm's way off for a little more content, a few extra views, and a bit more attention. You'll wish nothing more than being able to wind the clock back 10 seconds and choose not to smash that ceramic canine cannon on the floor, which may result in forever saying goodbye to that little fluffy good boy both you, I, and all of the low gang love. So as if it's not already just like weird and way too far, this guy freaking goes darker, bro. Like, really dark. Go! After those mere seconds elapse, the overwhelming gravity of the situation will begin to sink in. Waves of gut-wrenching guilt will rush through your body. You will find it physically impossible to aid Kong in the moment, so fingers crossed, Lydia will be there to rush him out the door to the nearest vet hospital. Brendan will be lost for words as he frantically deletes the footage before turning the camera off and sitting down in silence. You'll find yourself in the most deplorable, distressing, and self-disdaining situation one could ever create for themselves. The absolute destruction you just caused. 
it will all of a sudden seem so stupid and completely avoidable as your mind starts to process all of the agonizing consequences. No more than a minute would have passed, but you've somehow just inflicted a lifetime's worth of suffering and regret upon yourself. Glancing down at the floor, you see nothing but shattered ceramic maverick remains covered in the blood of the savage! Your savage! Our savage! Looking up your cylindrical rope feature, you'll contemplate cutting a piece off and ending things quickly over the balcony rather than dealing with the ramifications this event will have on your personal and professional life. At what point will your ego stop blindsiding your common sense and duty of care for the general well-being and safety of others, Logan? I hope these words reach you and make you think about what's more important in life. You are 22 years old, bro! It's time to grow out of this absolutely asinine phase and set a good example for the millions of kids that look up to you every day. You've crafted a career for yourself that harnesses great power. Don't forget, it comes with a greater responsibility. Don't let Uncle Ben down. Don't let yourself down. Don't let your family down. Don't let your team down. And most importantly, don't let the low gang down. Wow. That was a lot to take in. I, I respect the Spider-Man reference, Uncle Ben, good guy. I also like how there was taste in this, right? There was a lot of low gang flavor. Whoever wrote this is clearly in the low gang, and, and honestly, they just want to have Kong's back. They want to make sure young Doggo is okay. Trust me, whoever wrote this, I like, thank you first off for giving me this amazing piece of content, yo! But second off, I respect and totally understand the concern, but do not fret, he's gonna be fine. Look at him, just freaking squeezing over there. Yo, 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 in fact, watch this. Hi, how you doing, Maverick? Oh, he wanted to join. Look, look, everything's fine, dude. Oh, what's going on? All right, good, good. Yeah. I thought that was a wizard play for a second. But yeah, I just, I'm curious. Did you guys like the cartoon? Like, would you like to see more, like, Logan story cartoons? Okay, see you later. I have a bunch of, like, weird, crazy life stories that, like, I think would be funny if I put them in a cartoon. Can I, can I just, one second, vlogging? Thanks. So comment below. If this gets, let's say, 200,000 comments, I'll do some more cartoons. With that said, Logan, that is the vlog! I know a bit of a weird one today. That's because tomorrow's is, like, a really special one. We have to end it a bit early. Some of you might be able to guess what it is. But it's gonna be dope. If you have not yet purchased your new Maverick merch, we just dropped some new sh** bro, loganpaul.com slash shop. The hottest, softest merch in the game during the movement, baby, because that's what it is. It's a revolution, and as the Maverick enterprise grows, the Logang does too. Subscribe if you're not a part of it. I love y'all, and I will see you tomorrow.